they must not like Tesla because how can you not acknowledge that we can save massive amounts of money? Let me give you guys an example right here. SpaceX crushes NASA with 20X cheaper launches. SpaceX cost versus NASA. SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket launches have been advertised at around $62 million per launch, while larger rockets Falcon Heavy can cost $90 million. But look at NASA. For the same exact thing, NASA space launch system is estimated to cost $2 billion per launch. $2 billion per launch in comparison with $90 million. That's a big difference. That's a massive amount of saving. Let's continue. I said nearly 20x. Guys, it's more than 20x is what it does, okay, on what, what he's been able to do. That's the part that makes this so impressive. For every one launch NASA does, he can afford to do with the same amount of money 22 times. 22 times with the Falcon Heavy. SpaceX 20. cost versus... 22 times guys and this is the type of innovation and cost savings that elon musk constantly does on the basis it's nothing new to me it might be something new to you guys and this is why i've always told people you really want to focus on the united states market because the united states market has massive amounts of opportunity now mostly when everyone hates tesla i'm always just raving and ranting about tesla but i'm going to expand this out to everybody in the world why investing in the USA outweighs developing countries for foreign nationals, but also for everyone. The American dream has drawn countless people from around the globe seeking high paying jobs, career growth and economic opportunities. Many migrants, Elon Musk actually being one of them, from developing countries come to the United States for this reason. But they often miss a critical aspect of the American economic advantage, asset advancement. So. You see, again, migrants are always focused on the jobs that they can get when they come to America, but they're not really focusing on actually the assets and the investments. And this is what Elon Musk actually did focus on when he came to America. Let's continue. Despite earning higher wages, a significant number of foreign-born workers tend to channel their hard-earned U.S. dollars back to their native economies. Imagine if Elon Musk made money here in America and just was like focusing on South Africa. Like, yeah, I'm going to go back and buy a hotel or a safari. Invested in real estate, small businesses, or local stock market. This approach, while well-intentioned, often overlooks the enormous advantages of investing in the United States itself. Let's explore why. With the U.S. market, free market structure, transparency, and superior financial options. This is one of the main reasons actually Elon invested and actually wanted to create businesses in America because of financial options, right? The financial markets are ridiculous. You know, to do something like, you know, SpaceX, you definitely need strong financial markets. And that's what we have in America, all right? So it makes more sense for migrants and foreign nationals to invest in America instead of returning their capital to developing nations. And let's start with number one. Number one, the U.S. offers superior economic infrastructure and stability. I know Americans would like to say that they don't and America's crumbling, but in comparison to a lot of other countries in the world, uh, we're up there. The United States boasts the world's highest GDP, a robust legal framework and unparalleled economic stability, making it one of the most secured places to invest. With an advanced regulatory systems, legal protection for investors, and transparency financial markets. The U.S. stands as the most attractive investment destination globally. In contrast, many developing countries lack these advantages. Real estate and stock markets in developing nations often face volatile regulations, political instability, and inconsistent enforcement, all of which can severely hinder investment growth and profitability. Even for U.S. investors, going overseas and trying to go to China is not going to work out for you, right? Like, they're basically, you know how you could de-block? They're also money blocking. Like, they don't allow you to do much of anything. In the U.S., investors benefit from a well-established legal and regulatory systems that ensure property rights, transparency for the business practices, and protections for minority, minority shareholders. For example, unlike in many developing countries, the U.S. property ownership laws do not distinguish between nationals and foreigners. Any foreign national can freely buy real estate without restrictions based on nationality and even invest in the stock market and even create a company and actually do business in the aerospace. Like a lot of 
countries are going to block you out of certain different type of industries like telecommunication and banking when you arrive in their country, regardless, even if you have a residency, you must be a national. So again, their markets are not as free as they like to act like they are. Remember that. Put some respect on America's name. Free market and unrestricted investment opportunities. The U.S. economy operates one of the most open, competitive, and unrestricted free market principles globally. And foreign investors have full access to a vast range of assets from real estate, stocks, and bonds without facing restrictions due to their citizenship status. And I know a lot of people are talking big about China, like China, China, China. They're beating us. Infrastructure. But China doesn't allow you as a foreigner to invest in their stock market. Now, there's some small exceptions, like you got to get a job, you got to have a residency, you got to blank, blank, blank. But still, they block you from their actual market. So again, America's better. Let's continue. And many other nations, especially in Asia, Africa, and parts of Eastern Europe, foreign ownership of land and assets is either restricted or comes with limitations. For example, in Thailand, foreigners cannot own land, or in purchasing real estate often occurs higher costs due to the title regulations. Now, in contrast, any individual in the U.S. can buy real estate, invest stocks, or own a company outright. See, Elon Musk owns outright SpaceX, well, at the beginning in its inception, and any other company he was involved in. He wasn't pushed to the side at a 49% of equity and ownership, and then 51 went to the foreigner, or excuse me, the national of that country. You can't really do that. We couldn't tell Elon Musk, hey, you're not an American citizen. You're from South Africa. You get 45% of PayPal, and then we get 51% because we're American. It doesn't work like this. This open market allows foreigners to diversify their wealth, taking advantage of a wide array of investment vehicles that may not exist or may be restricted in their home countries. So you're welcome, everybody. Now, also, you're saying, well, why didn't Elon Musk start this SpaceX company or Tesla in South Africa? Well, access to reliable data and transparency is also important, okay? And we have that in America, not only dealing with actual, you know, public companies, private companies, and also real estate. Let me read off some. Here we go. The United States leads the world in data access, especially within real estate and stock markets. Real estate transactions are well documented through a multiple listing service and county records that provide investors with reliable, transparent pricing and property data. The U.S. stock market, too, is known for its regularly regulated disclosures and market data availability, helping investors make informed decisions. Now, a couple of selfish, spoiled brat Americans will mention that it's not perfect in this case and this, what the SEC had to do here and there. Calm down. It's not perfect, but it's the best as far as geniuses go. By contrast, real estate markets in developing country lack centralized MLS or databases, and property prices are often dictated by informal and unsystematic methods like, mm, I want this much for retirement, or mm, the weather is blowing this way, so I'm going to add an extra 100000 and then making it difficult to perform th thorough due diligence. And limited access to reliable data increases the risk of foreign investors who may lack insight into the market trends, property values, or a neighborhood growth potential. And even if somebody does have it, they just cap it. And recently, foreigners came over and created such a database for the a local market. But And this is here in Thailand. Now, higher returns on investments in the United States. See, most immigrants know that they get a higher paycheck a higher salary when they come to the United States. For some reason, they don't put this part together. It's going to be a higher return on investments. So why take your money to Thailand, Japan, and et cetera to invest when you're going to get the highest returns in America? The U.S. offers some of the highest returns on investments globally, especially when considering risk-adjusted returns, like adding the risk factor in. And with its stable economy, well-regulated markets and abundant financial services, the U.S. real estate and stock market provide lucrative investment opportunities with relatively low risk. In addition, the U.S. has a mature financial market with sophisticated pro uh, products such as REITs like real estate investment tr uh, trust, ETFs, and various mutual funds, allowing for both diversification and risk management. And these options often do not exist in developing nations. The U.S. dollar status as a global reserve currency further enhances the safety of the investments in the United States. Investors worldwide seek out U.S.-based assets for this very reason. Now, securing their wealth in the most widely recognized and stable country available. That sounds like a smart financial decision. And shout out to Elon Musk again, 
This is why he invested in America. Mm -hmm. Now, immigrants, their tendency to invest back home is a missed opportunity. Many immigrants have the perception that investing in their back home countries allows them to give back or perhaps gain a foothold in a native market. While this can have sentimental and sometimes financial merit, it often leads to missed opportunities for building wealth. Wealth, where returns are higher, risk are lower, and investment mechanisms are more advanced, okay? The power of compound growth in American assets. The U.S. markets provide investors with significant opportunities for compounded growth through reinvestment and asset appreciation. Real estate in great places like New York, Los Angeles, and San Francisco. Now, in developing nations, currency fluctuations, political risks, and economic volatility can erode returns. Additionally, real estate and stock markets in these countries often lack liquidity found in the U.S. This is why it's important to, once again, focus on the U.S. market. Now, immigrants coming to America legally, <clears throat> please come. We hope that you come. Thank you, South Africa, for Elon Musk. I mean, without him we wouldn't be where we are, at least in the space race. So thank you for having that contribution for our nation. I think that whoever, uh, you know, signed the, or the paperwork for Elon Musk to get his passport in South Africa to come to America, that person needs a Nobel Peace Prize. Now, conclusion, the United States remains the best investment destination for foreign nationals, which the world's highest GDP, a transparent and highly regulated financial system, and an open market for foreigners. The United States remains the most attractive destination for building wealth through investments. And while jobs in the U.S. offer more income stability, it is in assets that true wealth is created. By focusing on building a portfolio of U.S.-based assets, foreign investors can enjoy higher returns, greater transparency, and more legal protection than most markets can offer. So, if you're a foreign national earning in the U.S. and aiming to build long-term wealth, consider investing where you work. Rather than sending funds back to a developing country, take advantage of the diverse, free, and transparent markets that make the U.S. the world's investment capital. The opportunities are here. There's simply no better place to grow your wealth than the United States of America. Thanks to Elon Musk for actually being here in America and contributing massive amounts of opportunity and wealth for us. I mean, really, I don't know where we would be. Again, let's give the Nobel Peace Prize to whoever that South African was that actually gave that visa or passport to Elon Musk and also the United States security officer or visa officer that approved Elon Musk's visa. Shout out to you, my guy. That was a good play. And if you come to America, remember, there's not only opportunities in actual jobs, there's opportunities in the market. I'll see you guys on the next one of Everyone Hates Tesla. Like, share, subscribe, and support the channel. Hit that notification bell so you guys can get this hot electricity. This was a little bit different, but I did want to actually mention that and remind you that the richest African-American in all of America is Elon Musk. Shout outs to my black brother, Elon Musk.